Hey there, ladies and gents, your favorite Asian robot right here. Hopefully, your favorite official content creator for the first Ascendant. Um, and I'm here to bring you the information in Dev Note 13. Now, a little bit of a summary. Many of you have made complaints about how difficult the invasion missions can feel and how, you know, the season is bad because of it. Look, I've been filtering through those comments, and like I've said, the whole season is not trash, but just know that the devs are trying to work hard to ensure that for those who are genuinely struggling, all right, they're trying to improve this thing and try to make better changes, all right? They are going to be adjusting the difficulty of the invasion missions. I'm going to go through the comment right now. So this is this is what is being said. Okay, greetings descendants. This is the director of the first Senate, Min Seok Ju. He would like to apologize to everyone who had inconvenience during the season one update. Everyone's support is incredibly appreciated and the dev team is currently doing their best to resolve the current issues. Through this dev note, they would like to share some countermeasures regarding the invasion dungeon and Haley's farming. All right. Um, in summary, they'll be making a modification to the invasion dungeons and inversion reinforcements. They're going to reduce the difficulty of the puzzle mechanics and buff the inversion reinforcement and remove the penalties in an update next week, which will be update 1.1.1. I'll cover it as soon as it goes live. There will be an improved farming process for Haley. All right, Haley's equipment material drop rate will be upgraded in patch 1.1.0B, which is going to be coming out on Saturday this weekend, this coming weekend, which means tomorrow for me, uh, or well, today at the time that you get this video. Improved development process. They are looking to create a focus group. Sorry, it's some hair here. They're they're looking to create a focus group that will take that will help them get feedback from gamers and take prior feedback into consideration as well. And they also want to improve community communication. They are listening to you. So this is why I speak to them on their official Discord, on social media. Do not lose your voice. As players, as gamers, as customers, you have a voice. Many studios have taken this voice away from you. But this studio is giving it to you. Make use of it. Do not rely on somebody to solely to represent your interests. Never do that because they can do a back-end deal that reneges on your interests at any time. I've seen that in literally the real world. So don't give your voice to somebody else. Use your voice. Communicate. Be constructive. But, you know, take a stand. You don't like something? Say, look, I like you. I like your game. But I don't like this particular thing. Here's what should change. Give the constructive feedback. They're going to look through it all. They'll find some common ground and they'll make positive changes. So do not hesitate to use your voice. I would love to represent you as a content creator, but I cannot steal your voice and I never would either. It's literally the one thing I dislike the most. So use your voice. If we speak together, we can do way more. So let's speak together, okay? Now, here is, that was the summary. Now let me go into the nitty gritty. For invasion dungeons, to provide a faster and better experience, they're going to lower the difficulty of the puzzle mechanics and they're going to modify the monster spawns. This is coming next week. Okay, this is in 1.1.1 and I'll cover it as soon as the patch drops. You have my word. For the order of truth, they're going to make it easier to remember the pattern. The pattern will be simplified and RK pallors, pillars, pallors, without patterns will be deleted. So the only pillars there will all have an answer for you. The direction of the RK pillar will be adjusted to look toward the battle area. So not it won't be turned away from the battle area. It will only spawn toward the battle area. All right. And the drone's pattern will be designed vertically rather than horizontally. Although I enjoy the horizontal version, the vertical version will probably be a lot easier for speedrunning. Now to make the gameplay experience better, tumors that cover the pattern and the ones that block the door will be easier to destroy. The tumors that were once destroyed will not be regenerated anymore. Okay. For the Legion of Darkness, the occupation time of an RK tile will be shortened, and the tile will be rearranged so that they are more easily distinguishable. The number of wrong RK tiles will be reduced, and the self-destructive monsters which steal the RK tile will be deleted. In color puzzles, symbols will be added so players with color weakness can more easily enjoy the game. Okay? Symbols will be added so... Instead of just the color, you can look for the symbols instead. Lastly, the barrier HP for the named monsters will be slightly weakened. Okay. 
The Legion of Immortality will also undergo modification, just like the other Legions. There will be an invasion event for the Legion of Immortality. Um, and based on the feedback that, you know, we have, we are bringing to them, they will find more specific countermeasures because they don't have enough feedback yet. Inversion reinforcement is going to be improved. Again, this is coming next week. To let everyone fully enjoy the inversion reinforcement system, they're planning to buff most of the effects and will delete all the penalties. So you no longer have to choose, oh wait, this is a penalty? No, they're going buffs on this. So look forward to the inversion reinforcer. I know many of you have asked me about it. You're like, robot, please teach me about the inversion reinforcer. I say, let's wait until this change comes in next week. <laughs> Excuse me. And then I promise you, I will teach you about the inversion reinforcer, recommend the buffs, go through everything. All right, my guide comes next week. Once this change drops, as soon as the change drops, I will drop the guide. You got my word on that, okay? All right. Now, there'll be a modification in the difficulty for invasion dungeons and inversion reinforcements next week, Thursday, in the 1.1.1 update. Throughout the update, they will try their best to let everybody fully enjoy the invasion dungeon in a more comfortable way. After that, okay, they are planning to add matchmaking systems so users can play the individual invasion dungeon as a multiplayer mode. Again, this is something I highlighted even before this patch came up. And again, this is why just one voice isn't enough. I said, if, if you guys go over the old patch notes, I said, I have a concern about this because why is it solo only? That's not supposed to be the way. This is a team game. I, I signed up to play an MMORPG with everybody. They could have just saved themselves the trouble and added it in now and added it in beforehand, but okay, at least they're adding it now, right? So yes, matchmaking is coming for the invasion dungeons. Now, last but not least, they have heard your concerns on Haley's drop rate because Haley's drop rate is abysmal. So what are they going to do about it? Well, they're going to make sure that uh, the dev team... Well, let me first start by saying the dev team wanted everyone, including users with limited time, to finish Haley in about 12 days on average. They also wanted to better support users who can invest a lot of time to farm Haley faster through the infiltration operations. However, to accommodate the opinion that Haley's farming takes too long, they are planning to increase the drop rate of Haley's research material about to, to make it about two times faster. To be honest, I don't think anyone had a problem with the 12 days. It was more that the invasion dungeons were so difficult to complete that it, it, it didn't look like people were going to get it in 12 days. And with the infiltration drop rates, they were horrible. So by providing an alternative to this, I think that they will be doing better. So I hope that they will be able to uh, increase the drop rate. They said it's going to be about double. So instead of taking 12 days, we'll be able to get Haley in six days. Um, this change will be released on Saturday. So that is tomorrow for me. It'll probably be on the evening stream, but we are going to test this and we're going to do some hardcore Haley farming to test the drop rate uh, immediately after the, the change occurs. So please do look forward to that, okay? Um, all right. Other than that, they plan on improving their development process to meet the expectations of players in future updates. They are considering having focus group testing after development is completed or inviting players to gather feedback before the update is released and incorporating that feedback into the final release. So both of these ways could be really, really good and I suggest that they implement both. I would love to be a part of gathering feedback or speaking on behalf of the people because I can guarantee I'll do it in a fair way. But again, um, this is something we discussed heavily on stream and I have to confess that I initially I resisted it because I have mentioned it before, I do not like the power to be taken from the people. So my recommendation would be that the focus group testing needs to have a range of gamers of all skill levels uh, involved, all right? It cannot just be hardcore pros because I could do things with my eyes closed that other people couldn't, you know, even guide it. So that's not fair to anybody. And in order to create a fair system, <coughs> excuse me, a range of gamers must be included. But definitely do like invite players to gather feedback before an update is released. I would um, be happy to gather feedback uh, before an update is released or things like that. I could, I could certainly do that. Um, but yeah, we have been, they have been listening to players and they want you guys to know that they do want to try and respond to issues quickly, communicate and improve and do better. Like I've always said on stream, this is a new game. It came out two months ago. There are going to be growing pains. It took years before several other similar games like Warframe and Destiny even got to the point where they are. So we got to be fair to them. 
we got to try and help them. Speak up for yourselves. Speak about what you're not happy with. Ranting and raving on my stream, I all I can do is give you a thumb. That's all I can do. Because I'm not a dev. I'm a content... <laughs> excuse me. I'm a content creator. I'm literally here to make the guides for you. I'm not a dev. I can't change anything for you. But so, if you want to give feedback, make sure it's constructive. And give them feedback on social media, their official Discord, all these places. You can rant and rave to me. Okay, please go ahead. You know, uh, just don't be too negative because, look, I'm going to shut you down if you are. But you can rant and rave at me. I'll give you the thumb and, and, and we can go our merry ways if that's all you want to do. But if you want to make real changes happen, please speak. Use your voice. All right. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I hope that this will help set people at ease for those that are worried about the invasions or who those who are feeling like this season is just you know not happy right now. All the changes that you want are coming in right now. Keep speaking, keep talking, keep giving feedback to them. I'll be here to guide you along the way. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to make me your content creator. Link to register is in the description of the video. See you all in the next one, okay? Y'all have a good one. Bye!